na 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 Special dedication to the only one me love. Oh. It's your boy King Danny X. I know it's been a while. It's been a while, but guess what? We're back, baby. We're back, baby. New shoots, new experimental projects, new tutorials in a new month. At this time, we are breaking down the shoot I did for Heritage Month september of course everyone has been doing it but i just wanted to do something different something unique and something that represents me as a photographer i had to start brainstorming new ideas what am i gonna do am i gonna do an outdoor portrait shoot am i gonna stick to what everyone is doing decided no i'm just gonna do a low-key portrait photograph or headshot photography i had to keep it cheap and simple so anyone and everyone can replicate this with just a soft box, two speed lights, one on a grid, and a reflector. Also, also not forgetting the bed sheet that I use. I had a backdrop, I bought it cheap. Never buy anything cheap when it comes to your equipment. Good advice, good advice. So now let's see the behind the scene of this famous shot. As you know, for us South African, every September it's a heritage month. This was my shoot. I wanted to do a low key shoot. I don't like these white backgrounds, white backdrops. I feel like they are limiting your photography creativity. Let's just open the Photoshop version. I had to do something different because everyone was posting something similar. Outdoor shoot, everything. There was nothing creative that I've seen so far on social media. So I had to do a low key, something that is, is going to be a bit challenging for other photographers. But I also wanted to keep it simple and also show them how I did it because people were asking me, how did you do the trick? This is not the final product, but this is something that I just took from my Lightroom. This is my model, of course. I'm just going to show you how the lighting actually spills on the face. From this direction, that's why I had my Godox speed light on a softbox and then this direction that's when i had a yong yo yong yo yong yo which was spilling light to this direction just to separate my model from the background and also from this direction which was the godox speed light yes this is my model as you can see i wanted to use a softbox just to make the, the light a bit softer i didn't want to keep the light harsh just wanted it to to be a bit softer and then when i used the yong yo behind i wanted it to be a harsh light so can separate her from the background. Let's just assume this is my bed sheet on a wall. This is my model here. This is my background. The blackest black out there. So the first thing I wanted to do is actually get a light from this side. So I placed my softbox here, my Godox softbox here with a speed light. I did a test with my camera, me doing a test here. But I've realized that it was spilling on the background because this one was a white wall here. I wanted to avoid the spilling because when it was spilling here, it was also exposing my true black here. So I did place a reflector here just to avoid the light spilling. So I didn't use the reflecting side of the reflector. I actually used the black side of the reflector. This is also 5-in-1 Godox reflector. So after I was using this reflector here, I was getting good lighting, everything it was perfect. I realized that my model on this other side, she was a bit dark. So I had to make another plan to separate her from the background. That's when I decided to put a what? Another speed light here, just to separate her from the background. Remember, this is a white room. So I couldn't just use a speed light without a grid because it was going to spill all over here, especially from here to here and also here to here. So I had to focus the light. That's when I decided, no, let me just put a grid on it so the light can be focused on the model and avoid it spilling on the wall so it can expose everything that's happening here. Okay, let me also show you the light from the young This is the young speed light. Then this is the Godox speed light. Godox speed light here. Then this is the reflector here. This is how my light was spilling on my model. This was going directly here and also didn't bounce back because this one was a black. You can also use uh, anything that is black that is not reflecting light just to avoid your light spilling on the wall. Or you can just put a grid on your softbox, which is something that I never did. Also put a, a grid on your speed light to avoid the light bouncing on the walls. Let me show you the actual behind the scene picture that I took. It's a bit ugly. 
forgive me. <laughs> I'm not good at taking behind the scene pictures. Avoid everything that you see here. I was shooting at f8, ISO 100, and then shutter speed of 200. But here it was 1 over 4. This is my Godox speed light. This is my Godox speed light. This is my Godox speed light. This was 1 over 4. That's the full power that was reflecting here. Yeah? This is my model sitting on the chair. Also, this is my Yong Yu speed light sitting here over here with the grid. This is the grid here. Okay, so it was shining the light this direction also. And this is my reflector with the dark side of it. This is the dark side of the reflector. This is the darkest dark of a reflector. This is a chair. And then this is my bed sheet here. So as you can see from here, this light was affecting this part of my model. This light, the speed light, the Godox speed light was actually affecting this part of my model. And then the Yongyo was actually separating my model from this background here. It was actually separating my model from this background. And then the Godox was just... That's why I was using a soft box. So I can have a big soft light on my model. I didn't want to keep it high, so I had a double diffuser inside here, which there was one here and it was also one here. But I didn't have a grid, so that's why I wanted to bounce the light here to focus the light here. It was a bit difficult focusing the light here because it was bouncing on this green thing here behind here. This is actually my old green screen. This is an old room actually. It was highly reflective because it was reflecting all the light here. So I wanted to avoid it spilling on my blackest black here. <laughs> my blackest black here, which is my sheet bed. But also I didn't want it to affect my model. Or just use a sheet bed here. You can also use, I don't know, you can just put something around here. Or you can find a speed light grid on camera stuff, camera stuff.com.co.za. And you can also use a softbox here, but you need to buy a softbox. I believe a softbox is the best way to get a soft light. You can also buy a reflector here. This everything that I have here, it's cheap, actually. I think it's under even, it's under even two thousand rand, I've, without including the camera here and the model. This is my model. So everything that you see here, you can just replicate it. It's easy to put together. It's a bit it's a bit confusing when you see it from here. This light is coming from this side. Let me try and get the white. Damn it. This is the Yongyo light, and then this is the Codox light. The Yongyo, oh sorry, sorry. The power of the Yongyo, I was shooting at one over. I was shooting at one over sixteen, and then here I was shooting at one over four. I'm trying to keep this video a bit short so it won't be confusing to everyone. Sometimes you get intimidated, sometimes you feel like this is actually difficult to replicate, but this is actually easy to replicate. You just have to know where the light is coming from with your eyes. You can also see it from the catch eye here. I used to zoom on the eye so I can see where the catch light is coming from. As you can see here, this is my softbox here. This thing is a bit thick. You can see the, the catch light from the eyes here. This will show you the direction of the of the light. So the light is coming from this side. You can also see from the shadows. If the shadows are falling on the opposite side, the shadows if are falling this side, that means the light is coming from this side. Using pictures online showing you where the light is coming from and how to actually study a light from just one picture looking at one picture. So guys, this is my tutorial. This is how I did my shot. This is my breakdown. So please subscribe, like, comment, or make a request. Because this was also a request from a friend in Facebook. Thank you for making that request. I didn't sleep trying to figure how am I going to explain this to other people. So thank you. Please subscribe. King X on Instagram. King X on Facebook. Where else? I don't know. Tenny Matebula on Google Shots.
Hello.